Hey everyone, welcome to Retro Adventure Wednesday. Welcome to the Bean Cam. The Bean Cam from Hell. Here we are. It is our ongoing stream of Gabriel Knight 3. We're a few episodes in. This game shows no sign of stopping. We're into <laughs> some uh, some fun stuff tonight. So not only are we going to be playing Gabriel Knight 3, but I am going to be eating super spicy jelly beans the jelly belly fiery five challenge as it's known and uh that's what the bean cam exists for i did this a year ago nearly died it took me a year to recover i got the note from my doctor that says it's safe for me con to continue and try this again so we're gonna be eating spicy beans here on bean cam as we play and you can redeem channel points and bits and subs and all kinds of stuff. I'll get the actual menu up on screen here in a minute. But first of all, hey, Pickled Dog, Mike Clam, Metawi, Sarah, Wilco Webb. Good to see everyone. <laughs> oh, boy. And we've already got, let me count them up, four Sriracha Bean Redemptions. Okay, so this is intense. I have each of my beans sorted out into color-coded cups. Each cup gets more intense in color. And this is the mildest of the five beans, the sriracha. So we're just going to pop off, and we're going to get four of these going. I haven't tried any of these since last year. Okay. Yeah, it's still hot. It really is like... <laughs> hey, party. Hey, fall not fat. Thank you for the redemption so far, everyone. Um, let's see. That's one. Two. <laughs> the sriracha ones are actually really good they're too hot they're really hot but they at least taste like a nice sriracha flavor like you can really get sort of the nuances of the, the real sriracha sauce so that's a plus three oh man that one hit hard okay one more <laughs> this one's for you, Tom. <laughs> or, yeah, they're not bad, but the heat, <clears throat> the heat's manageable. <laughs> but the flavor is actually really nice. So there we go. We've kicked it off to a fun exciting start with four sriracha jelly bean drops to start. Let's get into the actual screen for the game here, and you can see what all is on the menu. <laughs> we have sriracha at 500 channel points for 50 bits i'll eat a jalapeno bean for 100 bits cayenne for 200 habanero and then finally <laughs> for subs we'll be hitting the uh the carolina reaper uh which clocks in at 2.2 million scoville units uh which seems like a lot of scoville units if you ask me yeah the heat's manageable as i nearly choked to death so yeah let's get back into gabriel Knight three what was happening? Grace had arrived. Well, first of all, Gabriel lost a baby. We all know that. Gabriel was in charge of a baby, and he lost it. He just flat out lost it. And from there, things have gone downhill. Let's see. Gabriel lost a baby. Then the Templars, the Knights Templar, the Freemasons, some vampires, all kinds of other people have walked into uh, this scenario. Now Grace is on the scene. We're looking for the Holy Grail. Honestly, it all sounds like a fever dream. And Marty, beans to you, pal. Thank you for the redemption. Mm. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting it. I've got the sriracha beans under control. <laughs> wow. Again, this is why the bean cam was created. I'm glad we can finally restore the original vision behind the, uh, <laughs> the bean cam. Okay, we were at day two, 10 a.m. Bean Cam Secret Origins. Knights Templar. This is correct. We have to keep in mind, it is definitely the Knights Templar. Thank goodness for LaCroix. All right, so far, so good. Okay. There's a note on the table. Hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. That's right, Grayson. Okay, so we're back playing as Gabriel after spending yesterday treasure hunting as Grace. Hey, we'll go web. We'll go web with the bean dipshun. Uh oh, I nearly dropped my bean. 
Can't have that. That's the biggest faux pas in bean casting. Sriracha bean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Some of them feel hotter than others. They're made with real chili peppers. So I suppose there could be like more. Oh, wow. Well. <coughs> there could be more chili pepper bites in some than others. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Grayson's done it. Grayson's taking us there. First of all, thank you so much for the gifts, of Grayson. But that that means that means we're jumping straight to the end end game. We're jumping to the two point two million Scoville unit, <laughs> Carolina Reaper bean. I'm going to go take a drink. Get ready for this. These were really painful last time. I remember, so I'm going to go for it. Grayson, this is all on you. How many beans do we have? <laughs> we have 11 more of these after this. The others we have quite a few more of. Oh, oh ma'am. Oh. Oh. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> it's like. It's like pepper spray. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Hey, Nick. Welcome. Yay, we did it. Thank you, Grayson. Okay, we made it through one um, Sriracha Bean. So, I'm not sorry, Sriracha. Carolina Reaper. I, I, and hey, there's Kevin Sriracha Bean. Gotta get back to the bean cam. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I've been I've been in the room or I've been around pepper spraying and held it before. It's kinda like that. Oh. Yeah. Now we now we have the worst of it out of the way. If I recall last time around though, Habanero hit a little harder than uh than the Reaper. Oh man, it's building. Oh, it's building. Oh no. Good thing I have all this stuff in my room. You never know when you'll need a dresser. Okay. This is the strangest episode of Hot Ones. Yeah, no, I, I started doing this before Hot Ones was nearly as viral as it is now. Hey, Cosmic Void. Hey, everybody. If, if I fail to say hello to anyone, it's simply because all of the peppers. Monsieur, oh, hello. I thought all the guests were out this morning. Oh, hey there, um, Roxanne. <laughs> I decided not to go, but don't mind. Roxanne. <laughs> yes, monsieur. All right. So what awful thing do we think Gabriel will say or do to this French maid? Okay, wait for her to go into room 27, says my walkthrough. What room's room 27? Woo. Yeah, everything Gabriel says is so sinister when it comes to Roxanne here. Do you think she's called a French maid here in France or just a maid? Okay. Hmm. Gabriel having ideas when he looks at this. Hmm. I'd love to get into these other rooms today. Maybe Roxanne can help me out. Hmm. It's the maid's cart. I walk through says, wait for her to go into room 27. Enter the room and unlock the dumb waiter, it says. <laughs> oh, wow. Tom just cheered. A hundred bits. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember what that uh, what that does. Oh, no, we're close to a hop train. 
I didn't even consider a hot train. It could literally kill me to not. 100 bits was cayenne. Um, thank you so much for the bits. It's a cayenne pepper, our first of the night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, only 12 seconds left for a hot train. Good. Okay. Okay. Cayenne is very sweet, which is a good thing. But, like, the heat builds way back on the back of the tongue. And, like, a really, a really disturbing way. Um, but that one's not so bad. And back you for Tita Sriracha Bean. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And, Batali, thank you for the 24 bits. <laughs> Oh no, here come 28 more. I guess it's to over 50. So at 50, that brings Mr. Jalapeno to town. Mmm, Jalapeno. Here goes. Thank you so much. <coughs> okay. The jalapeno tastes exactly like jalapeno, which is good. <laughs> but oh man, the heat is building. Like it's not this pain now. Oh no! Oh no! Some <laughs> free stickers for the next minute. Slap them off. Three, two, one, go! Wow. I can't believe this is real. My nose is running. So that's where I'm at on this. And hey, hey, Nick and Tom both slapped 50-bit stickers. That'll buy a couple of jalapeno beans. And hey, Pickled Dog has another sriracha bean. We're going to play Gabriel Knight in any minute. We just have to burn through a few more of these bean redemptions. Let's see here. Come on, stickers. Finish slapping. Look at all those burner stickers. Wow, I'm so glad we could all be here for this momentous evening. Whew. I'm filled with regret already. <laughs> all right, let's peel them on off, baby. I guess I could just said I ate all of those while uh, the stickers were covering my face. But, you know, integrity is what a bean stream is all about. Like, now my tongue is even cooling off. It just it just stays where it is. Um, it just it just lives there. Um, so, whew, thank you for the redemptions. Two green jalapeno jelly beans. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh no. I want sriracha. Sorry, time with chess. <laughs> Here's a story. Last time I did this, I was very sick the following day. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Human bodies aren't made for this. I'm doing it all for you. <laughs> because I care about you, the viewer. I know you all secretly want to see me suffer. Okay. Beans. Beans consumed. <laughs> remember Gabriel Knight 2? Do I remember Gabriel Knight 2 at the moment? What do I remember about Gabriel Knight 2? Let's see. Oh, what does he say when you look at Phoebe? Yep. Oh, she's cleaning all right. I guess a memory I have of Gabriel Knight 2 right now is the fact that they put on a whole Bulgarian, 
Wagnerian opera uh, for the final act and how much money that must have cost and how much time and effort must have gone into that and how wonderful everything about it really was. Okay, wait, do I go into the room? Yes. Open. Hmm, I'd love to get into these other rooms hmm. today. Beeps, beeps. Maybe Roxanne can help me out. Do I have tomorrow booked off? That would be great, wouldn't it? What I actually have Sounds instead. Sounds like she's in the bathroom. Is I teach at 9.30 a.m. And then teach again immediately after at 11. And then teach a class from 4 p.m. to 6.20. The door's locked. So it's kind of going to be an all-day affair of teaching tomorrow on uh, on Jelly Bean's stomach. Hey, Valiant Cheese. The closets haven't been as nice as we were hoping. Um, let's see. So we... <laughs> but there's still... I mean, any closet's better than nothing. Unlock the dumb waiter. Wait for it to go to room 29. Okay, nothing suspicious going on here. Yeah, it's like stalking them. How many bits for 30 milliliters of Pepto? Oh, I'm prepared. I have all the medication I need. The body isn't made for this many Scoville units. Ooh, Madeline's room is nice. So basically, I think what we're doing here is setting ourselves up to gain... I can't. The cart's blocking the door. To gain access to all the other travelers' rooms. I don't know if Gabriel has a reason to. Boy, look at Gabriel's unique posture. Hey, Thratnor. <laughs> welcome, welcome, and happy Retro Adventure Wednesday to you. I see you'd like to see a sriracha bean, and I can kindly oblige. Just give me one moment. Okay. Sounds like she's in the bathroom. Ugh, Gabriel even makes that phrase sound creepy. Let's save this as Sneak Boy. Oh, we get the sneaky jazz, too. I love the sneaky jazz. Okay, bean cam time. Ba -ba 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 bean cam. Sriracha bean redemption. Thank you, Thraknor. Mmm. Tastes like burning. Come at me, beans. <laughs> Thank you, Valiant Cheese. I should have made that joke already. Okay. Sneak boy. All right, and here we're going to open up her balcony window. Or her balcony doors. Champagne. <laughs> oh, I think Gabriel doesn't completely know why he's doing these things right now. Oh wow, Gabriel has got all compared here. to those doors. I better make sure the door won't lock behind me. Okay. Yes, it's good to set yourself up for a later trespassing. Like only a fool only trespasses one at a time. Okay, now room 31. Great. Just rinse and repeat here. Oh, man. Ooh, the sneaky boy sneaking it up. Okay, what do I do in here? Open the glass doors, it says. Yeah, the sneaking music is great in this. Actually, all the music's great in this, but the sneaking music may be the best. Sneaky jazz is my is my favorite genre. Ooh, casino lounge. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that vibe going on too. Absolutely. Metal Gear Werewolf. I would play that game. All right, so far so good. I'm feeling recovered a little bit. 
from uh, from the beans so far. We still haven't done a habanero. It's the only one we haven't uh, tortured ourselves with yet. I'm thinking that old bag belongs to Estelle. Not unlike Lady Howard herself. Oh, snarky. How pointlessly expensive. Those must be Lady Howard's bags. Okay. So let's unlock again. Now we follow Roxanne into yet another room. Room 21. Yeah, Quest for Glory sneaking is hard to beat. Look at Gabriel. How can she not feel his presence? His, his loudish presence. It is another dumbwaiter room. The Deedle Deedles. Yeah, the music is outstanding. It is like, it would be great music by modern standards. And then you couple that, yeah, with the kind of questionable 3D work, etc. It really is a shame. All right. So now we'll end up in 23. Give her a little room to operate here. It's me, Gabriel Knight. My face is very angular, but not in a pleasant way. I know of this Lawnmower Man. I've never seen Lawnmower Man, but I know of the Lawnmower Man. Guy bro not. American novelist. Yeah, no, I mean again, for 1999, this looks pretty good. The car's blocking the door. Okay, let's sneak on in. Sneak on through to the other side. Ooh, a laptop. What's up with the laptop, I wonder? This must be Wilkes's room. What? This must be Wilkes's room. Ah, it doesn't have any unique answers. <laughs> I love how he clips through <laughs> the fly camera, right? It really is a choice. Okay, I think that's all of the setup we need to do. So now we got Wilkes' room. Open the door at 25 and go back to Gabriel's room. Okay, well, Roxanne is a terrible maid. She should be fired, probably. Damn nice waiter. Okay. That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. Thracknor, I honestly don't know if having watched the other streams would make a whole lot of difference. I've been that playing... do much good. The door's locked. I've been playing all of these, and I don't entirely know what Gabriel's doing. Right now, he's just hanging out at this French hotel, and there was a baby that was kidnapped by vampires, and the Holy Grail is missing as it has been for centuries at this point, and Gabriel would kind of like to find that if he happens to stumble across it. But also, there's a tour group here that now consists of Mosley, his friend from back home, and I guess Grace has joined the tour group. And now Gabriel's just breaking into the rooms of all the other people in the tour group, so in case he needs to snoop on them. Yeah, it's exactly what it looks like. That's a very good way to put it. I can't it. reach it too well from here. Okay. 
Get in there. Get in that dumb waiter, you dummy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the turn group is headed by Commander Katrina Shepard. This is a this is a great point. All right, dumb waiter. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I'm guessing Chinese. Emilio travels with his own food. Looks vegetarian. Hmm, cup of noodle, you say? No thanks. Looks like rabbit food to me. I do like that Gabriel planned ahead enough here to uh, to like lay the groundwork for later breaking and entering. Hmm, could that be a clue? Kind of an odd thing for a Muslim to have around. I don't think you should question people's faith, Gabriel. It's written in Aramaic, I think. Can't read a word of it. <laughs> in an Aramaic, you say? Hotel stationery. Everyone's got it. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty popular rendering of uh, of the J Man, right? Like, you feel like you see that one a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good point, Thracknor. I know that like biblical texts many were written in aramaic but i have a feeling if you just like laid out some aramaic in front of me it's going to look like huh that's a language i don't know <laughs> that is a narrow door <laughs> yeah does that just go to like a utility closet or something it feels like one of those doors in your hotel room that's just going to be locked and you'll never know where it goes oh. i didn't expect emilio to have much but a few things here and there would have been nice Y'all, that was a not very nice closet. <laughs> Narrow closet. There you go, Gabriel. What are you doing, you weirdo? Less than optimal closet. Inadequate closet. Nothing in this bed. <laughs> well, that was definitely a uh, a good search animation, right? There's <laughs> something under the pillow. Yeah, J Dog was a surprise to me too. It looks really old. Maybe it's some kind of good luck charm. Okay. By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome to Gabriel Night 3. Welcome to the Bean Stream. Feel free to redeem points, bits, anything to watch me eat miserably hot jelly beans live on stream. What would I do with a piece of fabric? It obviously means a lot to the guy or he wouldn't have it under his pillow. It was probably from his childhood security pillow. It's a piece of cloth. Okay. So apparently we don't do anything with that. It's just good to know that it's there. It's just a cloth. What would I do with a piece of fabric? It obviously means a lot to the guy or he wouldn't have it under his pillow. Hey, cheers, pickled dog. Let's get this going. We're back on our bean cam. 50 bits buys you jalapeno. My taste buds are burned out at this point enough. Well, these first couple aren't so bad. Like they're, um, we do need a wishing flame sound. <laughs> NBA Dad, you're so right. This was my mistake. I should have had a wishing sound effect. But jalapeno and sriracha, both are very pleasant. Like if you enjoy spicy things, I would say you could eat both of those kind of pleasantly. I don't think you'd like want to grab a handful and just toss them back. But, you know, munching on, like, casually during the afternoon at work when you're feeling a little bit run down and out of energy, I feel like they might pep you back up between the sugar and the heat. Not a bad combo. Back to the game. 
That's what you know. You don't need to do all these beans at once. Oh no. <laughs> Tom, that sounded like a threat. Oh. And we'll go web. Uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tom. <laughs> well, time to die, as Roy Batty once said. <laughs> Thank you so much for your generosity. Oh goodness. Okay, team. Let's talk. How should we do this? Okay, how do we do this? Do we, um... Do we pop five of them at once? Or do I do one after another in rapid-fire succession? Tom, you, uh, maybe it's dealer's choice. Tom, what would you like to see? Would you like to see me? Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to raw dog it right through this. The question is, five at once or five in rapid succession? What's the verdict? Either way, I'm probably going to die. This is a total of like 11 million Scoville units or something like that ish. Like, yeah, like 11 million Scoville units. Um, rapid succession is Valiant Cheese's vote. Tom, do you have a preference as the donator, as the very generous donator of five gift subs? Stretch out that cosmic void with one after another. Yeah, maybe get the most out of it. Okay. I think this might be the way. <laughs> Thank you for clipping that, Nick. All right. One after another. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Four. <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> Five. Oh. oh, I'm not the same anymore. I'm changed. Yeah, thank you, Jay Frisbee. Sriracha bean. Mm -mm. Mm. All right. Jalapeno. Mm. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me while I have a quick drink. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. Let's... <laughs> Dr. Moore says class is canceled. Why is there hydrate redemption? This is a great question. There usually is. I don't know, Ben. Would I not be sick? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, it is hot. It's such like a basic like in my soul kind of level now mm, goodness what was I doing going back to the dumb waiter it seems oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah those wrist gaps look like some sort of maybe um, like bone developmental issue 
Oh, man. Yes. I may be stuck on the turlet. <laughs> it's a strong chance of this. Yeah, I'm starting to wor worry this is rewriting my DNA. What if, though, this is like some sort of secret uh, cure to any number of diseases? Like, what if the key to burning through any disease is just enough Scoville units in your body at once? <laughs> Somehow it just cures everything. Okay, look at the dumb... Blue the dumb waiter and pull the left rope right down to the bottom of the dumb waiter. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be me. You're absolutely right, NBA Dag. Like in in like 24 hours, I'm gonna be sitting on Mars, like doing the thinker pose, realizing that after all these jelly beans, I've just transcended my own humanity, and all the petty squabbles of man are now beneath me. <laughs> and that's, that'll be how my story ends. It'll just like the camera will slowly pan away as I sit there naked on Mars. Thinker <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kevin. Look, I get bean camp. Even the little beans have to have the bean camp. Mmm. Mmm. If I'm on Mars doing the thinker pose, it's going to be right on that face. You know, like the, the rock formation that kind of looks like a face in satellite imagery. I'll be doing it right there. Like a dirty boy. Okay, where am I now? Hey, hey, Paul, not Pat. Mm. Thank you for more bean cam. All right, I forgot to switch back over to game cam. Sriracha bean. Mm. Even they are starting to heat up little by little. I'm already going to be famous when I die live on stream tonight. So, jokes on you, the Journa 007. Oh no. Oh no, Wilco Web. I don't remember any such moment. What could you be talking about? Okay. Open the door to arrive in the kitchen. Turn the handle. What are things even? I love a good octagonal saucepan. This is true. How are you supposed to know that you're. It doesn't even say what that does. Ooh, look at that wine. Looks like they're prepared for the apocalypse. Or a Shriner's convention. A Shriner's convention, eh? It's a bit early in the day for me. Besides, they'd probably add it to my bill. Ha <laughs> hotels will get you. Nice Scots. <laughs> the Shriners, as canonically their name is said. The game really cheaps out on its uh, messages in these areas. Interesting. That Baza must be a vegetarian. Come to think of it, I never see him in the dining room. I don't need to take it with me. Oh man, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm legitimately sweating. <laughs> I was like, well, my head itches a little bit and my hand came away legitimately wet. Oh God. I don't need to take it with me. Well, that's the end for me, y'all. I could use shimmy. a bite, but I've got more important things to do. Gee, I hope that's copper on there. It wouldn't fit down my pants. <laughs> hey, guys. It wouldn't fit down my pants. It wouldn't fit down my pants. Make sure how you're maintaining consciousness. Yeah, it must be an Appalachian thing. It wouldn't fit down my pants. Oh, there you go. Yeah, please, if, if you don't hear from me for a few days after this, someone do a wellness check. 
I can see my wife and daughter just sort of operating around my corpse for a few days without really noticing the difference, but... Guess that's to prevent the cooks from drinking too much wine. They'll think their vision is getting fuzzy. Okay, that's actually a pretty good line. Oh wait, there are two dumbwaiters? Oh no. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. So I think I turned the wrong handle. You named our kid after a white master. I mean, that's true. We try... <laughs> that is the sad reality that... Uh, I do have a kid named after a Space Quest character. Oh, and by the way, thank you for the follow earlier, OSU. I appreciate it. Okay, is this what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Pull the right rope to right up to the top. It's a, <laughs> my daughter, Wank Master. That's her. My daughter, Flo. My daughter, Drool. It was way more fitting when she was a baby, but now that she's grown up, uh, it seems kind of mean. <laughs> Let's see. Hotel stationery. Everyone's got it. That's right. I mean, my daughter's uh, canonical name is Becky Russell. It's a floor plan for some cathedral, huh? Oh man, I drew up some of the animations of Becky Wrestlehard that uh, that my pal Chris did when we were sort of brainstorming that game. And I'll have to get his permission to post some of them in the Discord because Becky Wrestlehard is really, really amazing. Um... Uh, yeah, I should play through the prototype. That'd be fun. Uh, Becky looks like a cross between, like, Jim from Jim and the Holograms and the Ultimate Warrior. And it's truly a thing of beauty. It's a floor plan for some cathedral, huh? I should try to get some prints off this stuff. Hey, good idea. Use our fingerprint kit that I think I picked up. Hey, ooh, man, look at this. Yeah, there's a print. Oh, it's actually interactive. This is very nice. Look at this. This is like a Sherlock Holmes game. Get some tape. Lift the print. Got it. Okay, did I get it? Did I definitely get it? Are you sure you got it, Gabriel? Get it? I got it. I know it's good. The rhymes I write, you wish you would. Okay. Well, I'm just, oh, there it is. Yep. We're just going to carry around a fingerprint and write the perp's name on it. And I hope nobody searches this at any point. Okay, that was pretty fancy. I'm pretty impressed with that. Do we need to do anything else in here? Oh. Nothing. Hmm, this dresser drawer is a different color. Nice fingerprint. Well, hello there, Padre. <laughs> it's a priest shirt and collar. Hmm, is Buccelli secretly you a priest? You must be thinking of a certain New Orleans case of mine. <laughs> Gabriel won't disguise himself as a priest again. Well, looks like Buccelli's got a hitherto undisclosed profession. Either that or he's really kinky. 
<laughs> yeah, so Buccelli was out complaining to the local abbe about uh, the church, right? And now we find out he's secretly a priest. Buccelli's casual wire. What do we have here? It's a stub from a train ticket. Oh. It's a stub from a train ticket. It's a stub from a train ticket. Put that in your stonewashed jeans. Where is it? Ah. Roma Tecusa? Buccelli came here from Rome. Ah, the Vatican, in fact, unless I'm very much mistaken. You know, Nick, what if way more people than we think are secret priests? I think that's the that's the counter argument. Like, what if lots of people are secret priests and we just have they're just really good at it? I mean, the Catholic Church is pretty good at keeping secrets. By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome to Gabriel Knight Three. We are breaking, we are entering, we are riding around in dumb waiters, we are eating really spicy jelly beans for the amusement of others these sadists yes i always have to make sure i'm getting sadist and masochist right you guys are sadists i'm the masochist um in this weird snm stream that we've wandered into <laughs> so glad you could be here oh wait that's just where i came from eh it's habit forming oh no we'll have none of that I'm just going to keep going the same way, huh? Okay, this time we'll get right. <laughs> it's true. I'm actually probably going to be excommunicated for my uh, salty language earlier tonight. I apologize to everyone for that. I know you come to this stream for wholesome entertainment. And it probably a lot of you had never heard that word before. It's not a word I make a habit of using. It was religiously couched. That's a good point. That's right. What if Nick is the secret priest trying to like throw all of us off the set? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Read the letter on the desk, it says. What's this? A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> that was a weird line, Reed. Let's get back in. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. Well, it looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. He really runs those lines together, huh? A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> astronomy lessons. Oh, it's so good, too, how the S in cross just turns into the word somebody. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> astronomy lessons. I like how he's saying astronomy like pastrami. I'll have an astronomy on the right. I gotta hear it one more time. That's really good. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> oh, God, it gets better. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> astronomy. Yeah, it really hits ass harder every time I listen to it. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> now, this is one. Okay, gang, I gotta hear it once more, and I swear, I'll put these childish things behind me. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to save here in case I ever want to come back later in life and just really get to this scene.
astronomy lessons. Oh wait, Nick. Dad went to Portugal to do a pilgrim walk. Went into mass in one of those churches with the big swinging incense. He asked what the origin of it was. Everyone who came to church in the Middle Ages smelled like shit, and that's all he did about it. Checks out. That makes sense. Okay. That. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. Just to let you guys get a little peek behind the curtain. As I said, I color-coded my bean cups. So, the coolest flavor, uh, Sriracha, is blue. Then we move up to the slightly warmer purple of uh, Jalapeno. Yellow for Cayenne. <laughs> Orange for Habanero. And then uh, sort of a reddish pink for our hottest bean. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the Carolina Reaper. Um... He's obviously working on something. It's mostly treasure stuff. I don't think it's what I'm looking for. Mostly treasure stuff. Classic treasure stuff. Ooh, treasure of the Sierra Madre. It's mostly treasure stuff. I don't think it's what I'm looking for. Oh, that tavern. Look, hunting for treasure right now is, I guess, below just snooping on all of these random strangers but above finding the lost baby it's maybe co-equal with the fact that i think there are vampires on the loose there's a letter on the desk i don't need to take it with me it's from metaphysical books looks like wilkes is getting published maybe he's not as dumb as he looks <laughs> nah Hey, Scrub J, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for the pro. I was going to say the prub sum. That's not a word. The sub. The sub prime. The prime sub. Thank you so much for the support. And here on this very special evening, of course, the, uh, the sub comes with a redemption of one Carolina Reaper, 2.2 million Scoville unit jelly beans. B -b 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 bean cap. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Not as bad. It's starting to normalize a little bit. That probably says, it's probably like how as you're, right before you freeze to death, you start to feel like a warm, <laughs> I'm sorry, you start to feel a warm sensation all over your body. And, yeah, just destroying that taste buds, it probably means, oh man. All right. And then the sriracha bean. Thank you so much, Marty, for the chaser. Mmm. Yes, my mouth has been destroyed. Sriracha bean's good. Again, highly recommend the sriracha bean. <laughs> okay, dear Mr. Wilkes, thank you for submitting your book proposal. Your theory looks extremely promising. Either Wilkes has really snowed his publisher, or he does know something. Metaphysical books will not only publish you, I think we can assure you a place at the top of our release list. Now, I've had a couple of book contracts, and in all fairness, they all do say that. Uh, ben, I got a, a consult from a veterinarian before I started this tonight, so I think I'm in pretty good shape, medically speaking. <laughs> We still haven't had the habanero beans. They're pretty. They're so very orange. All right. I'm all hopped up on horse to warmer. That's right. I've been taking that stuff for years. It's great being married to a man. God. Yes, veterinary medicine is making all kinds of human breakthroughs. 
Oh gosh. Don't take ivermectin, please don't. <laughs> All right, I can't think anymore. Uh, my brain is shot. Okay, so right now we have looked at the. I think it's all we have to do in here. Oh, nice closet. Being political. You know me. That's as ugly as the one in our room. Oh, man. Ugly closet. That's as ugly as the one in our room. A diagram of what looks like the Earth revolving around what looks like a cross. Somebody needs astronomy lessons. Okay. There is a... Close everything in case someone comes in. There is a deep pit of regret bubbling up in my stomach. I can feel it already. Can we pull bits out of 188? <laughs> nope, nope, it's a single person redemption. <laughs> Pulling bits could be what kills me. I can't afford to risk that. I have to have some standards. I respect where you're coming from. Just survived the night, the stream will have been a failure. Thanks, Grayson. Ooh, you can only get them in the pack, huh? Well, just search Fiery Five and you can uh you can get your own uh super spicy pack of uh, of jelly beans. You just had to pick through the uh jalapeno. They're easy to find because they're the green ones. How am I doing? I have Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> it happened. Okay. So last time I did this, as I remember it, like what my memory is telling me. Oh, thank you, Grayson. Again, the chaser always helps. What I remember from last time is that the habanero, while not as hot as the Carolina Reaper, was pure hot. Like the Carolina Reaper has a little bit of. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the Carolina Reaper has a little bit of a sweet chili flavor to it, whereas the habanero was just like straight up hot. So let's see if that holds true. We have the bright orange jalapeno. Deep breath. I'm sorry, habanero. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, all right. <laughs> I got it. All right. It's Sriracha Chaser. Thank you, by the way, Nick. Hey, a hot train's closed. Great. Um, and then one more habanero. Mm. Wouldn't it be great if I just spent the last year learning sleight of hand and I've just been palming all of these or something? Thank you for the message from Hope, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, Valiant. Hmm. Nope, right. No. <coughs> Oh, nope, that was just me that froze. My body was rebooting. Oh, man. All right. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. yeah this is good. Yeah, this is good. Good, 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 good. All right, just water. Spread that oil around. Milk is gross. I don't want to drink milk. <clears throat> I was going to get some like emergency bread in the room. 
<laughs> Zach, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations for 10,000 points redeemed. You're now part of the Hall of Fame, one of the most elite honors in all of Twitch. I will add your name to the list after the stream. If I survive, you could be the last person ever added to the list. So, oh man, this is exciting. Get it while you can before I before I leave this earthly plane. Okay. All right, if you're just joining us, I mean spicy jelly beans and playing Gabriel Knight 3. Neither one is going particularly well. Okay, now we're in Madeline's room. Let's search this bed. Or we can use the Maybe bed. Maybe if Madeline were in the bed. Ugh, listen to creepy Gabriel. Maybe if Madeline were in the bed. <laughs> That's right, Nick. Oh uh, yeah, I'm hovering slightly above. Maybe if Madeline were in the bed. Zach, do you know how many beans that'd be? Yeah. Maybe if Madeline were in the bed. Whew. Yeah, just make a new baby for the prince. <laughs> okay. All right, we got sriracha beans. Boy, this flame background is really worth it. I have no regrets there. <laughs> they make that line a little greasier. Hmm. Sriracha bean. Thumbs up again. The sriracha bean is like... I don't know. A moment of safety in a harsh world. Thank you all so much for the support so far. Ooh, what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> I knew she was packing, but this is ridiculous. Hmm. Madeline's got a gun. Ooh la la, as they say in France. Are we risking right now beans? Can we get a bean check? Okay, quick bean check. We have nine sriracha. We have what looks like to be about 13 jalapeno. We have about 14 cayenne. We have what appear to be about 20 habanero and five Carolina Reapers. It's quick bean inventory or a bean inventory, as one must say. So sadly, we are not close to running out. <laughs> Thank you for getting the official record down. Okay. We're going to do some amateur sleuthing here. Wait. I guess this is less sleuthing and more snooping. Need a bean bot to keep track. All right. So we're going to dust. Where do fingerprints go on a gun? Hmm. Just use it with the barrel. There's air. something on the barrel. Oh. Dr. Morris says mean bean machine. Yes. Got it. All right. We fingerprinted the gun. I might have to use one of these eventually. But for now, I'll stick with my tape recorder and notebook. Thank you. Either France is a lot more dangerous than I thought. Or Madeline is over-equipped. Again, it's not clear why Gabriel's doing any of this stuff. We're just sort of doing it. It just, he woke up this day and it's like, I don't have any other tasks. Maybe it would be a good day for snooping. 
Oh, it's one of those clever all-in-one units. I think they built those in the 70s. Hmm, that's all in one closet. We'll disguise ourselves as Madeline. Nice taste in clothes. Nice clothes. Nice taste in clothes. Oh, it's one of those clever all-in-one units. I think they built those in the 70s. Man, look at that nice sitting room. Hotel stationery. Everyone's got it. Let's see here. It reminds me of a tracker, but I don't think that's what it is. I could call 1-900-BIG-FRENCH-MEN and run up her tab, but that would be juvenile, not to mention oxymoronic. Wait. I could call 1-900-BIG-FRENCH-MEN and run up her tab, but that would be juvenile, not to mention oxymoronic. So Gabriel says there aren't big French men. Is that is that the joke? Get it. <laughs> get it, get it, Gabriel. As a Franco Appalachian, uh, I don't appreciate that. Also, he's from like a French family. Come on, Gabriel. I bet you Gracie would love to have a copy of this. I'll have to bring it back though. What's even going on with Gabriel these days? Where's his head at? Okay, we got the map. I better close everything in case someone comes in. Yeah, on his grandmother's side. This is exactly right. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while since I've heard a good 1-900 joke myself. Okay, what room do we go to now? Estelle and Lily's room. Oh, baby, dig those hats. <laughs> oh, baby, dig those hats. Oh, the subtitle only says dig those hats. I wonder if he's, if he ad-libbed, oh, baby. Oh, baby, dig those hats. That's very good. I mean, it's no nice closet, but... Oh, baby, dig those hats. I'm going to get a clean one in case we need to clip this. Oh, baby, dig those hats. <laughs> this game is art. That's hats. Oh, baby, dig those hats. Gosh, you know, I love Dean Erickson, but... To the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! <laughs> Velociraptor, I don't know if he likes the hats, but... He seems to kind of be into him, doesn't he? Thank you, by the way, NBA Dag, for your 50 bits and your just generosity. Let's eat a jalapeno jelly bean. Space! I'm sorry. Mmm. Jalapeno are the clear winners. It has a nice sweetness. It actually tastes like actual jalapeno. Not so hot. Then again, nothing tastes hot to me anymore. Everything just tastes like different degrees of numbness. Like literally the entire, the yeah, my mouth and like a good chunk of my throat is actually numb now. So nothing matters. Nothing matters. <sighs> nothing matters. <laughs> oh. Okay. So much for the birds of a feather theory. Prom night. <laughs> Just get for all those bits. That's right. I'm going to come away from this with like $9. 
and uh, a thirty dollar copay at my doctor tomorrow. <laughs> She's shaped a little like Lady Howard, though the phrase "a little" is rather out of context here. I think we have turned a profit at least on the bean purchase so far, so we're good there. Yeah, I think we've covered our costs of entry. I was telling my daughter <laughs> this uh, this afternoon that I was doing this tonight, and she said, Dad, you should just charge $100 for each bean. And I said, yeah, I like the thought there, and I could really make a lot of money that way, but I don't think people are going to pay $100. And she said, I don't know. If I thought I was going to get to see you cry, I would definitely pay $100. So, you know, um, I may be underpriced. Who, who's to say? <laughs> She's, she's stone cold. Like, if you ever, like, bump into her somewhere, just walk to the other side of the of the road. You don't want, um, you don't want Crosser. She's bad news. What else is in the news? John Mulaney. You know he has that bit about how teenagers, like, intimidate him because they can sense his, like, one true insecurity and hone right in on that? Uh... I feel like my daughter has a little bit of that ability going on. Yep, there's a print. All right, someone's been gripping this baby. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yep, someone's been gripping this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone put this hand mirror in their hand. <laughs> so someone's gripping and ripping, baby. We in the NOLA, baby. That's a reference to the real world New Orleans for all my fellow real world fans out there. Gosh, what sort of weirdo pervy man would go sneaking around a hotel just getting everyone's fingerprints? But Gabriel just needs to learn that not everything is shot and Jaegering. Some things are just life. Okay. Oh my gosh tube of, yep, suppuration H. Great. All right. Oh, jeez. Is that some preparation H without a cap on it? Suppuration H. Oh my gosh. There is a smell icon. We we occasionally get a smell icon. Here's your nose icon that you were literally just requesting, Thracknor. It's here. Yuck. French food does not agree with Lady Howard. Yuck. French food does not agree with Lady Howard. This is going to be Gabriel's next step. Let's see if we can write down the note on that with our notepad. So we get a list of uh, of whose poop smells worst in the hotel in case that's a clue later nope those don't work together no no it turns out we don't need to uh we don't need to jot down how people's poop smells that's not going to be a clue okay so we're doing great we're doing great search the bed Lady Howard does have a stinky butt butt. That's canon now, baby. Boy, talk about paranoid. What, do they think someone's gonna break in here? Gabriel is just thinking all these things, right? His mouth's not moving, so he's at least not narrating this aloud. It's a file about the Ren Le Chateau mystery. They hid it under the bed. But, but. Yeah, Grace will kill me if I don't copy these. 
I'll have to put him back, though, or Lady Howard will scream bloody hell. Women. <laughs> Women. <laughs> okay, he has Garfield thought bubbles. This is good to know. <laughs> Women, am I right, guys? Okay. An inherent misogyny. Yeah, that's part. That's part of his jam. I mean, that's been an established character trait going way back. Okay. Walk down the steps and ask Jean about food. I think we're making terrific progress, gang. I feel like even with all these bean cam breaks, we have really just knocked it out tonight. My human body is. Uh, is still alive. Women hate when you, you break into their rooms, go through their I stuff. Not go with the tour. No, you are quick, Jean. Oui, certainly. This is obvious. He's mocking his accent. He toss some extra predicament. I send the staff home. There is no one here to prepare for you or a past. Oh, that's all right, Johnny Babe. I've gone longer without repasting. It is possible, I am sure, Monsieur. Especially from such a strong man as yourself. <coughs> but the Hotel Rennes Le Chateau is not a boot camp. I feel most horrible. Oh, don't sweat it. You are too kind, monsieur. You know, I wonder if any of that comes down to the idea of how they walked back as Gabriel Knight to character development. If any of that comes down to switching back to Tim Curry, if maybe they felt like the character that... Gabriel grew into and Gabriel Knight too didn't quite fit Tim Curry's performance in the same way and maybe they you know, when James Jensen was working on this sort of took it a notch back or so hey Jean dude you know I am feeling a bit peckish oh I am so sorry hey Jean I dude I would the cook she would simply have to miss her hip therapy no, really. I can take care of myself. That is, if you don't mind me going into the kitchen, I can make a sandwich or something. Of course, but I, I am embarrassed, monsieur. Mortified. I apologize most profusely. Jean? Oui, monsieur? Get over yourself. Oui, monsieur. <laughs> right away. Man. Say, Jean, I was wondering if you could tell me about the other guest rooms. Is monsieur unhappy? Must show is peachy, thanks. But I was thinking Gracie and I might come back sometime. You know. Ah, I am most relieved. Truly, your room is one of the finest. Room 23, Monsieur Wilkes' room, is like your own. Then, in the middle of the hall, rooms 21 and 27 are a little bit smaller, oui? But they have the dumb waiter like your room and that of Monsieur Wilkes. So there are four rooms on the dumb waiter? Precisément. And in the front of the hotel are rooms 31 and 29. They are the best in the house. As large as your room, monsieur. But with the balconies. The balconies. No dumb waiter. No. These rooms, they get the room service. What about Mosley's room? Room 33? <laughs> it is a closet for the brooms, monsieur. Yeah. I would not recommend it. Ah, uh, poor Mose. Oh no! Oh no! I want to save it for the uh, for the end, Nick. <laughs> Do I want to know? No, I'll, I'll just save it. Don't tell me. Okay. Boot and a boot. Living that bean life, huh? Oh, wait, now, Zach, this is an excellent question. Mosley's room is absolutely probably the nicest closet we've seen and that it's fully furnished. Okay, we're back to the graveyard. We're getting ready for some quality puzzle design here. Hmm. It's stuck. Ugh, the wood must be swollen. 
<laughs> okay. Yes. Gabriel does kind of look like he has pit stakes. This is this is true. Okay, so team. We have swollen wood. Do you remember any inventory items we recently picked up that may take some swelling out of some wood? I'm going to say it's our good old friend. What was the uh, boulderized name? It was... Tube of... Yep. Suppuration H. Great. Oh my God, that line read again. The great. Listen to that. Tube of... Yep. Suppuration H. Great. Hemorrhoids. They're great. All right. Well, you know what you got to do when wood is swollen and you need to open up a window to break into a priest's home? You just slather it in preparation H. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh man, me either. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Step on voice. <laughs> Pit stains, acid wash mom jeans, swollen wood. This game has it all. Playing the tiger needs his butt butt taken care of. I'm not proud of this game. Oh man, I kind of missed Stefan. All right. As recurring SNL bits go, Stefan is uh, is better than most. All right. Let's see here. Let's we'll climb on in then. Ooh, chess. Now, who would I know play chess with around here? Jean, perhaps? Oh, no, monsieur. Not my queen. Did Gabriel just, like, write a little fan fiction slash fiction with Jean and, uh, and the priest? He's neater than I'd expect, given his style and clothes. Ooh. Tom, thank you. Tom has redeemed 200 bits. Thank you so much for your generosity. That buys one delicious... Habanero. Jelly bean. I've cooled off a little bit. <coughs> All right. Yeah, this is getting easier. Thank you. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, next week is definitely a hot tub stream. I'm just going all in. I waited a year because I was I realized that the like perverse attention of eating things I shouldn't eat on stream could be habit forming. I'm like if I don't make myself wait a full year before doing this again, it's going to escalate to all of a sudden this is a food challenge channel. And I'm like dressing like Guy Fieri now and doing all kinds of other like troubling. Th oh, man. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one caught up to me. Ah, but yeah, I had to uh, I had to really pace myself. But yeah. Hot tub stream. I'm in it. You're soaking in it, as the old commercial said. <laughs> You're turning into this is fat dog. Oh God, I am. I don't recognize him. <laughs> Duke Lorraine. Sorry, that was like kind of a B-52's reference, but not really. If you've never heard their song, Quiche Lorraine, go listen to it. <laughs> B-52. 
B-52s represent. There we go, Marty. I love B-52s. It's a French magazine. Wonder why he keeps it in his drawer. Hmm, it's probably Le Monde. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Yeah, what? Yeah, this is a really good question. It's a French magazine. Wonder why he keeps it in his drawer. Can you imagine? I mean, a, a magazine in his just random a place as a drawer. Let's read this magazine. I can't exactly read it, but it appears to be about the European Union. Oh. Back in 1999, people were still hopeful about the European Union. All right. Well, Gabriel, look down. Look down. We need to see that cigarette case again. There we go. Cigarettes? Imagine finding those in a Frenchman's drawer. <laughs> European Union. Okay, we need to fingerprint the cigarettes. Because <laughs> you know how Gabriel is lately. He's just like, I gotta have fingerprints of everyone. Gotta catch them all. As uh, as the Gabriel Not Three ad campaign said, out of everything in this room, the cigarette packet seems like the best option. Oh, yep, Prince O Plenty. Oh, yep. Got it. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Use the fingerprint kit on the cigarette case. Brush the case, read the European Union magazine, exit the office, and go back to Gabriel's room. Yes, Gotta Catch Em All is made famous by the Gabriel Knight series of games. If you look that up on Wikipedia, you will find that Pokemon borrowed that from, uh, from Gabriel Knight. Gabriel Knight 3, which famously predates the original Pokemon. Ooh, fingerprints. Oh, man, Animaniacs. With his snooping done, Gabriel returns to his hotel room. What has he accomplished? Well, he got a lot of fingerprints tonight. Isn't it going to be great when at the end of uh, this evening, all we will have accomplished is giving me severe, severe gastrointestinal distress and having collected a bunch of fingerprints in this dumb dumb game? Oh, so they actually get the village pretty accurate. That's good to know. It's a good setting. Yeah, be sure to drop by the Discord tomorrow morning for an update on my butt butt. Well, uh, I'll be sure to let you guys in on any developments. Yeah, you feel like we got closer to finding the baby? That's good. That's a little hole in your stomach line among friends. I like spicy food. Um... So, you know, it could be worse. Like, I actually had some really spicy Thai food for lunch. So it was like, you know, this is not the first punishment I put myself through today. <laughs> that was something great to get out. Was there a ghost? Did I miss a ghost? <laughs> hey, Thracknor, there you go. Got it. Sydney is up and running, I believe. Shit and yogurt. I recently saw somebody was streaming Gabriel Knight 2 
and it was someone I'd never watched before, and I popped into their stream. And at one point, they're like, what's this shot and Jaeger thing everybody keeps saying over and over again? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know if they hadn't played the first game, or maybe it just been a little while, and I tapped in chat that it was German for shitty jogger. And the rest of the chat did not seem to find that terribly amusing. Uh, they did not appreciate my translation of, uh, of, of that. So, yeah. There you go. I'm not, I'm probably not welcome back on that stream anymore. <laughs> I'll let Grace do the research stuff. She loves it. April won't run a search. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Sarah, it could be that. Who's to say? Click the suspect button. Oh, wait, here we go. Add data to view the inventory. Hey! It's Grace calling. This is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. <laughs> Thank you, and for your trouble, Jay Frisbee. Oh, they switch her to Bean Cam. Have to keep some sort of integrity alive. Thank you very much. Grace, <laughs> how do I do a Google? Mm. <laughs> Grace, you might say I've been in here Googling myself. How's that for a Gabriel Nightline? <laughs> I feel like Gabe would say that. Like, it's not exactly clever. It's suggestive. <laughs> Probably after searching for internet porn. Yes, exactly. We're doing good, gang. Human body status. I'm going to say above 30%. That's not bad. I just had a COVID test this morning. Before I started this, I wanted to make sure that I was um, I was in good health to do it. So I went in, got COVID test, got my instant results, came back negative. So with that clearance and veterinary consult, I was ready to hop right into this bean experience tonight. Has been nothing but success after success. I was running a fever yesterday and feeling like butt. So, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I don't seem to have COVID. So, all right. Input aborted. Oh, wait. Add data. What am I adding? Add the license plate numbers. Really? Input into Sydney. Okay. Woo. Looks like Tom has sent us back to... Thank you so much, Tom, for the generous contributions. Back to the habanero. This one's been, this has been a real stinker tonight. Oh, 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 man. Oh, I thought it was not bad, and it got me. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just realized while looking at Bean Cam, this kind of looks like that one, like, gif of Elmo that uh, frequently uses reaction gif. Like, if I just had my hands out, kind of like that, like, they're being burning around me. <sighs> it's Elmo. Yes, there you go. I used to do... A very good Elmo impression back at the brief period window when my daughter was watching Sesame Street. And I wish I could still summon it. Let's see here. Gabriel Knight 3. That's what we're doing. Okay. Inputting lots of data into Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good meal, lice. Gross. Okay. Okay, we're adding that data. Okay, roll some data entry work here. Ooh, what the? Oh, man. Sorry. What does the NEY in Sydney stand for? This is a great question. Shot in yeah, your informational database. Do you think that Grace, like, did a high res scan of Gabriel's medallion? Or do you think she commissioned an artist to create, like, a digital image of it? Wow, data entry really is fun in an adventure game. It's good stuff. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. Okay, got the map in there. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. What was that? I just scanned in, I wonder. No, oh, parchment one. Maybe she scanned the medallion. This is a good, a good argument. I already scanned it. Well, don't be a butthole about it. Add daters. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. I have a bad feeling we're missing some license plate numbers, but I don't know that yet. Okay. We got the fingerprints in. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, it says I should have the tape of the Abby's phone call, but we never heard that. I hope we are not soft locked because of that. Oh man, it has like a whole translation thing that we're supposed to do here. Oh my goodness. Click on the suspect button and select suspect list. Well, I really hope that we haven't messed this up. Okay, links. Oh wait. What do I need to do here? Suspect list. Abu Gracie entered these last night. Hmm. What's supposed to do here? Open file. Ah. Okay, I don't have Buccelli's license. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. Where's Madeline's? Boothane, right? Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, I think the game's trying to make us do actual detective work now. And I, for one, don't appreciate it. Okay, what else do we have? Emilio. Do we have Emilio stuff? Good point. This is uh this has been a workmanlike <laughs> set period of the game, hasn't it? Okay, the Abbe. We still don't have anything for the Abbe. Hmm. Huh, I was sworn we had her license plate too. I guess not. Wow, we are really coming up short from where this walkthrough wants us to be. I got a bad feeling about this gang. Have a hey! Yeah, let's break up this monotony. Ba 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 bean cam. Let's see a hundred. Oh, that was our old friend the Cayenne. I don't think we've done Cayenne in a little while. This may be only our second one of the evening. Let's see how it goes. Thank you, pickled dog. Oh, mm. Oh man, I hit you. Yeah, once again, it is like oh, it's all heat on the back of the throat. A uvula is on fire. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Good. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. A okay. Ooh. <sighs> Terrific. All right. Okay. I have a really bad feeling. This game has let us progress without finishing important bits of, uh, <laughs> of work along the way here. It's going to come back to haunt us in a very major way. Okay, so we've entered in everything. Here's wishing. We may have soft locked like a day and a half ago if we did soft lock. Like I think it is way back in the game's history. It progressed us to new parts of the day without having us finish everything that need to be finished. The question is, is that stuff optional or is that stuff required to move forward? Like part of me would think the structure of the game with the hours and days and everything should prevent soft locking but also it is Gabriel Knight 3 and I'm not sure how carefully those sorts of things were considered necessarily use either parchment with the bed I'm hoping it's just points I mean that's how it should be Give me soft lock trust issues. Me too, Sarah. But I'm hoping OSU, you're right, that optional and unnecessary elements are missable. I mean, I'm hoping it's like uh, the Colonel's Bequest, where I can literally like miss most of the game and somehow it'll let me finish it anyway. Okay. Room 29. Oh man, speaking of vampires, aka dead men walking, tomorrow night, I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to play without beans. They'll be gone by then. <laughs> They'll be down to the garbage disposal, God willing. Um, I'm going to play The Sims 4 
with the vampire pack installed. Uh, I recently just bought this for my daughter, and it looks kind of bananas. You can go around and just drink blood from other uh, Sims in the game. So I think I'm going to try that. I've never played The Sims before. I haven't played a Sims game since Sims 1. So we're going to create a character and start playing some uh, some classic vampire Sims 4. It's true. My disposal may just start shooting them back out at us. Okay. So let's see here. Ooh, a channel redemption to name a character. I should do that. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see here if this works. Whew. All right, gang. Monsieur Knight, there you are. What? Roxanne, she has been telling me things most troubling. Wow. Oh, no, you see, I just, uh, <laughs> I, I just got mixed up and thought that my room was... She says the kitchen, it shows no sign of sandwich making. Oh, yeah. See, I couldn't find the mayo, and, <laughs> well, you know, a sandwich just ain't a sandwich without the white stuff. <laughs> Man, so lost without a woman's touch. Come with me, monsieur. I have finished my cleaning, and now I make for you the big sandwich, yes? Hmm, well, I suppose I could stand a nibble or two. All right, gang. <laughs> I think we did it. <laughs> I did not think that was going to work. <laughs> but it looks like we did it. What time was that again? Uh, 12, yes. Day 2, 12 p.m. Day 2, 12 p.m. Time advanced, so... <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Metallic. <laughs> I make for you the big sandwich. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Yes, and a very aggressive... Ticking clock. All right. Whew. Well, it's nearly quitting time around here. So I have to say, if you have any final requests to get any bean submissions out of your way, now is the time. But I want to thank everybody for hanging out for this kind of drab bit of gameplay. I mean, we did have the fun, like, dig the hats and the ast the astronomy bits. <laughs> so we got something out of this uh, data entry fest that was this section of data acquisition and entry quest that was this part of Gabriel Nat 3. We we're making progress. We we're charging forward. We had an inferior closet. Ooh, some spicy ramen. Very nice, Zachmatic. And <laughs> thank you for not dying. And welcome, by the way. Zach to uh, to the Hall of Fame. So glad we could have you. I'll update that as soon as the stream's over. But for now, let's see who we can raid. Raid, 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 raid. Ooh, Cobra Commanda is playing Ocarina of Time as part of her uh, Septelda celebration, which is, I think, Zelda games throughout the month of September. Um, so I think we'll launch a raid over there. Um, I'm just going to casually eat a jalapeno bean, just for fun. That's how good they are. And I thought my human body can't even tell I'm eating them anymore. So, thanks again, everybody. <laughs> hey, Eric, you're here just in time. We are just getting ready to call it a night. We've been doing, uh, all kinds of bean-related fun. I've been eating super spicy jelly beans <laughs> for funds and, funds and profits. Um, as they say in merry old England, but that's right. I know it's, uh, it's bad timing. Um, I'm sorry. We, uh, we ate some sriracha. We ate some jalapenos, some cayenne, some habanero. And of course the always delicious, uh, Carolina Reapers. And, uh, yeah, I survived. I'm still here. I'm still standing like the Elton John song off topic. I've not streamed King's Quest six. I've never actually played 
more than a few minutes of King's Quest VI. It's on the big list. I'm going to be streaming it before too long because it's a game that uh, you know everyone loves, and I love King's Quest, and I don't know how I've missed King's Quest VI all this time. So it is very much um, on the horizon. It's uh, it's coming up. Oh, man. Oh, just something got me. Oh, all right. I got this. That's coming up in the relatively near future, so stay tuned for that. But for now, thanks so much, everyone, for all the support, for hanging out with me, for watching me suffer, for making me suffer. You're all fantastic. Press F for the butt butt. Have I played Zork? I've played some of Zork. I've never completed Zork. I've kind of wandered around Zork aimlessly when I was like eight or nine years old and never got much farther along than that. So someday Zork too. So someday in the great underground empire, we'll make it happen. Zork, you know, it isn't on the big list, but it should be. We'll put Zork on the big list. The big list is growing by the day. Thank you. But thanks again, everybody, for watching along. Let me start this raid. Tell Cobra Commander that, uh, that I sent you, that you nearly watched me die tonight. And I will see all of you again, hopefully tomorrow night. I'm going to play a little bit of Sims 4. And who knows what else lies in store for the near future. Take care, everybody. Put bean in mouth. I'll see you soon.